Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, I'm Katie and today we're doing a book review. It's been so long since I did a book review, I'm really sorry, I got all my really good books that I wanted to review done like straight up in the first half of the year and I don't know like what happened. For those of you who saw my last video and I mentioned that I had a haircut, you can see my hair now it's down, you can actually see the difference that it's shorter, like seriously, like go, go just quickly find another video because look how much shorter it is, like seriously. I was not exaggerating when I said my hair was drastically shorter. When I wash my hair, there's like this bit when I go to try and like just pile it on the top of my head at the side. I don't know what bit of hair it is, but it like falls down and it's like really short and I'm like, oh my god. But yeah, what do you guys think? I, I can't, I'm kind of vibing it. I'm segueing here, I'm very sorry. But because I have to tie my hair up for work, I don't actually ever see it down. So for me, when I like go to edit this and like watch this back, this is gonna be really weird to kind of see me with really short curly hair. I don't know, what do you guys think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Also, another quick, quick segue. Last week I also said that I was going to like this um, more radio like party, like not quite a festival, it was like a mini, it's like the closest my town's ever gonna get to having a festival. And there were like lots of tribute acts and this one woman did um, Pink, Taylor Swift and Katy Perry, there was also Robbie Williams and there was like the big one which was ABBA. So thank you guys to everyone who um, DM'd me on Bookstagram and for those of you who replied to my stories on my personal Instagram, thank you so much. Yes, I had a really amazing time, lots of singing and dancing and I hope those of you who saw my stories on my personal Instagram, I hope you liked the little snippets that you saw. Yes, my voice was raw afterwards. So let's get to the whole reason why you were here. And today I am talking about a very amazing and very special book, The Beast Player. Now, I am, for once, and for one night only, I'm gonna pronounce this woman's name because I have avoided doing it in about the last three videos, I swear to God. Nako Yushia. I think, probably not right, I probably totally butchered it, but it's as close as I'm ever gonna get to saying it correctly. This book, to start off with, this is originally a Japanese, I don't know if it's comics or a set of like smaller short stories, it's about eight in total. I have no idea if this is like the complete set. I don't know. There's like, there is nothing about this on Bookstagram or on Booktube. And I don't know why, because A, the cover is amazing. B, it is so right up there with what is really current and what is just, I don't know, just like what is so popular at the moment. And I feel like people are really missing out with this book. But I think after, I mean, I'm not even kidding when I say this, I've literally just finished, like freshly just finished this book. I think it's the complete, set up. Having said that, there is also room for another book. <laughs> so maybe this is like the first four and then there's more? I don't know. It is still such a good book regardless of whether or not this is the complete bind up or if whatnot. This book is so good. So this book is set in a world where there are um, royal beasts which kind of look like that but can also fly and they're very big and those protect like the kind of like the royal family sort of thing they're they are sort of stolen from captivity they're raised and then you also have these other animals which are called todas which i imagine to be like giant sea lizard dragon things i know my description is so apt i'm pretty sure there's like an anime version of this somewhere our main character of this book Ilin, her mother is a toda steward she is a beast doctor she cares for them and whatnot and when one is found dead, basically all hell breaks loose and this is kind of like a treasonous thing. So her mother is killed. So from going from the blurb, I kind of assumed that the first bit would just be a very, I kind of either thought it was gonna start with her mother already dead and we would maybe flash back to some of that and then it was really mainly gonna focus from when she was older because that's the kind of general setup a lot of the books I read kind of have. This book, 
so curveballed me. Oh my goodness. Also, can I just like apologize if my lighting goes crazy, but that the happy sunshine is gone. Like there has been so much rain recently and so much, I mean like really on and off, but huge, huge dark clouds. The sun today is going like in and out, in and out. Like there is no way for me or anywhere for me to like perfectly film this. Oh, I have hair in my eye. There is nowhere for me to perfectly film this where the light is gonna be really good because the clouds are just going over the sun like constantly, that the wind is so fast. So if it keeps going light and dark, I'm really sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. That's how I thought this book was gonna go. Oh no, so no. And you know what? I love that that didn't happen. So the beginning of this starts with her and her mother and you know, her learning a bit of the life of, you know, a Toda Stewart and what that entails. But there is a lot of like, hmm, going on because there are also these special magical people who live in the woods, mountains, who her mother is one of, and she is, Elin is a mixed race person, as it were. Sorry, my brain just got sidetracked about something that happened to me earlier at work to do with mixed race people. I'm mixed race, not something else. To, to me, it's fine. And so basically, her mother ends up dying, and she saves her child, and she gets sent down the river on the back of a toda. So she's about, like, 14 when this happens, or she's, like, 10 I think she's 10 she's like really getting really young but she's been raised very maturely so she gets washed up this guy finds her he takes her in adopts her it's very cute it's very perfect like my little precious heart is so happy and can't take it and she's raised by this guy and so actually there is a really lengthy part of this book that is spent with her growing up with this guy, with her um, learning he's a beekeeper so she learns his ways and stuff and it's really cute because you see from such a young age how her mind is so just full of questions and she wants knowledge and she's so excited about learning stuff and so enthusiastic and with animals and this whole like mythical secret thing to do with like um the royal beasts and the toad and how her mom was like you can never control them you know it's a sin and all this stuff and it is very much because you know she is so removed from that part of the world she doesn't understand why it's a sin and it is kind of just like her mum's sort of parting words to her was you know once you realize you'll realize and it's fine so you know this she's telling this to a kid who has like zero zero just anything about the world that she's kind of walking into so from there she does she grows up with this very lovely man who adopts her she then goes to a beast sanctuary where they kind of try and rehabilitate animals but it's mostly kind of you know once they're kind of on their dying legs they care for them till they die so she's about 14 at this point and then the book then covers the next six years of her life at this sanctuary where she graduates and becomes a teacher and her focus on her bond with this cub and kind of breaking the rules but kind of is allowed to happen and that is kind of the main point of this book there is although there is a kind of like a bigger agenda which comes more at the um like the the back of the book, the end of the book, which is more kind of that normal sort of political kingdoms at war sort of thing. So you basically have like your chosen god person who is say like basically my royal family, put it that way. So it's Queenie, she's like sitting on her throne in Buckingham Palace. And then, so they like have the royal beasts as their sort of, as their sovereign animal, you know, that is like the image of like the sovereign. And then you have the general, so I don't know who's in charge of our armies, this is like really bad. We're gonna go with Theresa May because that's all I can think of as a politician. There we go. So Theresa May is in charge of the Toda. So basically it's like the generals, the people who sort of are in charge of the war have the Todas. She has, the queen has like that basically kind of what it is and it's kind of there is tension has always been tension between these two fractions but it's always been covered up with lots of nice teas and handshakes and everyone's happy but really they're not so yeah that is like the main thing so that kind of political thing it's a very slow burner thing because again Elin is so removed from that world that really has nothing to do with her growing up because she is in a sanctuary that is away from her all that background stuff there are a couple of characters who are um, positioned within that sort of political world and they get a couple of chapters I'd say before halfway but then don't really reappear until the royal family actually properly come into um, this book. The whole idea of this is that she sort of raises a cub, um, a royal beast cub, completely out of the normal protocols and it's this kind of you know her bonds that she's creating is, is like anything that's ever happened before and it's a sort of, eventually this cannot be kept a secret, eventually the royal family are gonna find out. She's kind of breaking rules and she has pretty much got almost like 
a human dog relationship with these beasts which is so unheard of so this is kind of what this main focus of this book is about is her ex you know exploring the bonds this sinful thing of controlling the beasts and kind of just the history of everything unraveling and that already happens at the back end of the book so it's kind of like a slow burner so once you kind of get your head around the fact that actually this book is more about her growing up her challenging things her challenging the way beast cubs have been brought up within the sanctuary compared to within the wild it's really cool and it's her trying to figure you know things out you know why is it wrong for man to want to communicate with the beast and to want to you know why should is there this wall between you know what is this reason that this law got drafted up that they have to follow so it's kind of stuff like so it's not like a complete sort of um sorry something in my arm it's not like a complete like deadly oh my god plot but it is still really good um i really enjoyed it i kind of do hope there is more to come from this just because i really did enjoy it and obviously there is room for more to sort of to come i was trying to think about what i wanted to do like a spoiler free section and spoiler section but I don't really think there's much point in doing a spoiler section because I guess nothing really amazingly happens and I haven't really spoiled anything for the book because I haven't told you what happens in the end but I would really really recommend this I just I can't believe there is no buzz or hype or, there's just, I feel like I've just seen nothing like literally I walked into Waterstones and I saw this book on one of their oh my goodness there is a hair in my eye I walked into Waterstones and I found this on their buy one get one half price table and I was immediately drawn to the cover like I'm such a sucker for covers like I'm just I'm terrible I'm awful um and normally you know I don't just buy books on a whim I have to go home I have to research it but this I don't know what happened but I read the back of it and it was kind of you know like the reviews were just like an amazing Japanese fairy tale and it just seemed like so different and I kind of just thought it. like let's do it like come on just pick something out of the ordinary and run with it and I'm so glad I did but yeah there just like seems to be nothing on bookstagram for this and I just I mean just for cover love appreciation I find ridiculous but it would be really amazing if you know more people were just talking about how amazing this book is thank you for joining me for another book review i feel like i was very talking very animated and very Ugh! which is really strange because i'm pretty sure i'm coming down with the cold because yes this person right here can come down with the cold in the middle of a heat wave so i'm trying to fight that off so i've suddenly got a burst of energy from nowhere so yay me I would love to know um, your thoughts. If you've read it, if you've read the comic, if you've seen like the anime series, tell me things. Um, have you even seen this book anywhere? Is it just me who just seems to think this has come out of like complete obliv like oblivion? I had a comment actually on I think my it was my mini book haul where this book first featured, and someone said the exact same thing. They basically seen nothing about this book before, and like they, I was like the first person they'd seen like say anything about it and I actually like I YouTubed it I searched it before I like filmed this and nothing came up other than for the anime series I was like what so yeah I feel like I might be the first person who's reviewed this on bookstagram or booktube whatever and if that's the, if like we yeah, the and I mean if that's the case yay me <laughs> like go me I've done a first for once oh did you hear my neck just crack Guys, I'm falling apart. I'm completely falling apart. Let's just wrap this up right now. Thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, just comment below with just stuff. I like to hear from you guys. It's always fun. But again, yeah, if you know anything about this, that'd be really great to hear from you. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up. It got a bit weird and definitely kind of off tangent, I think, especially at the beginning. If you're new, then hello and welcome. Become a subscriber and join this weirdness because let's face it, it's fun. And until next week, guys, have a good day.